All right, so, uh, Super Mario Odyssey review. How to put it? This is a good game, undoubtedly. I enjoyed it very thoroughly. Very few times where I got upset. I can't remember any time, actually. Sorry, settled my throat. Can't remember any time where I was just like, I don't want to be playing this game right now. Uh, they did incredibly well with the whole hat possession thing. I was a little skeptic of it. I knew it wouldn't be bad, but I didn't think it would be as enjoyable as it was with the whole hat possessing people things. There were a lot of really fun transformations to take over with, uh, Bowser was a ton of fun at the end there. I really enjoyed getting to play as Bowser. Uh, the long leg guy we saw just a second ago, I really enjoyed being long leg guy. Uh, the stretchy guy was really fun. I don't know the names of any of these things, so I'm just saying words and hoping you understand. Uh... Or some other really good ones. The bubble octopus things. I really enjoyed being the bubble octopus guys. And I'm sure there are a few others that I just can't think of off the top of my head. I'll remember as I remember them as I see them. Uh, all in all, I'd say the game's like a solid 9 out of 10. I think that's fair. 4.5 out of 5. I normally, I don't know why I started doing that, but I used to always rate games from like 0 to 5. It's much easier to rate them 0 to 10. So I don't know why I ever did 0 to 5, but uh, they're easy to convert into one another. Like, 9 out of 10 is a 4.5 out of 5, and vice versa. But uh, Fireball was kind of fun. Not as fun as some of the other transformations because it was so niche and being in the lava. It was basically just a way to move in the lava and jump up, so it didn't really have any fancy stuff with it. But, uh, yeah. The dragon, was that dragon there? That was amazing. That was just great. The Tanuki Rock transformation in Bowser's Castle, not that fun. But anyways, I think it's definitely a 9 out of 10. Main, really the only small complaint I have is it's just so easy. But it's also like, sometimes that's just what you want, is a relatively easy but fun game to play. And that's what Mario Odyssey is. It's fun, it's fun to play, and so it doesn't really need to be overly difficult. Which works well for it. But I don't know. I mainly, the only reason I wouldn't give it like a 10 out of 10 is because I can think of other games I'd rather play. Just that are to my specific tastes. So, for me personally, I wouldn't say Mario is a 10 out of 10. Probably objectively, it's somewhere around a 10 out of 10. But I definitely think 9 out of 10 Thank is you more so than much fair. For playing my game. Don't ever interrupt me again, Mario. But you're welcome. It was a fun journey. I plan to play some more. Oh, yeah, now these are open. And apparently, frogs are congregating around them for some reason. Nintendo's the author. Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, overall, 9 out of 10 game, I think is fair. It was really fun. You can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, dude, that's right. We went to the Mushroom Kingdom It through that one painting, and it had, like, the power moon was a star instead of a moon. So there is at least one more kingdom to go to. Music list has been added. That's great. We all done then? Is that it? Oh, hey. Oh, we went back home to the Mushroom Kingdom. That makes sense. Just chilling. So calm, so peaceful. Like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But good thing it wasn't, because we saved our two dear friends. <laughs> Excuse me, don't friend zone me, you stupid hat. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us! But, I've liked our travels so much, I don't want our journey to end. I mean, there's still so much to do. So many hats you need to meet. And I bet if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's Castle. Yo, those were the shortest credits of all time. That's definitely worth a nine. We found 250 power moons. Now we can reach the dark side of the moon. What? We can reach the dark side of the moon, excuse me. Also, we already have, like, a bunch of power moons here, apparently. No, it says we only have one out of 43, but it also says, like, look, at the top left, we have so many right there. I don't know what that's about. There are 43 to find in the Mushroom Kingdom. This looks like a fairly small kingdom. Maybe there's more on the other side of the castle. Yo, can I possess this sheep? No, come back here. Come back here. Sheep. Whoa. Okay. I don't know what the purpose in that sheep is, then. What's up with this boom box? Can I possess it? Nope. Turn it on, though, apparently.
This is Pauline's song. Also, that dance is horrible. Anyways, this poor sombrero sheep. I'm just ruining its life right now. Well, do we want to look around or do we just want to go straight to the castle? Let's look around a little bit and then we'll go to the castle. Sounds like a good idea to me. Is this going to take me up into the clouds or is it just getting me back up here? Just getting me back up here. Okay. Castle is so peaceful. It's very nice. Dance again. <laughs> that is awful. All right, well, it also said that there are more power moons in... I didn't hold Y. More power moons in the, uh, whatchamacallit? Yep, they are stars here. In the stores? Someone told me that you can just buy... You can keep buying power moons until you hit 999, apparently. Which seems kind of dumb to me. It kind of defeats the purpose of having to find them if you can just cheat the system like that. Get wrecked, mushrooms. Have a golden acorn here that needs to go somewhere? We'll worry about this later, I guess. Go, go, go! Hey there, buddy. Give me those. Let's swim together. Don't tell me what to do. Whoa, what? What was that? That hurt my eyes. What's this about? We're the roving racers. We rove the globe, racing in every kingdom that we can get to. Once a race, bro, you'll get a prize. I did one of these before, didn't I? That's the spirit. The rules are simple. Race us to the goal and get there first. There's a bright beacon to the finish line. Got it? Then let's go. Okay, seems easy enough. We got this. Koopa free running. Mushroom Kingdom regular cup. Oh no, that might actually activate the next main mission thing. No, I haven't done this before, have I? I, I wanted to jump forward. That kind of screwed me up at the start there. Go, go, go. See you later, suckers. I need that. I didn't mean to hit that. Give me that. Give me, no, give me the, thank you. Oh no. I've done this so horribly. Go, 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 go. I can still bring it back. Oh, this is actually like, they're slow as can be. I, okay. There was basically no challenge at any point. I messed up so much and still won. I had no worries. Give me my star. Blazing fast, bro. Here's the prize, a power moon. This is not a moon. Look at this. Look at, look at, yeah, look, this is a star. This is not a moon in the slightest. What are you on about? All right, that was easy. Got some purple coins down here to get. Down we go. Also, I'm no longer a pirate, which I'm not okay with. I think we'll go samurai next time I go change. Let's get on over here and get these moons, or moons, get these coins as well. Just get to work on collecting them all. Still have yet to get all the moons in a location, I'm pretty sure. Or all of the coins, I mean. I know where plenty of golden acorns are, though. I was gonna go in that pipe, but then I saw this door, and I think I'd rather go in the door. Into the door. We haven't been normal Mario in ages. Is this a rematch? If I jump into this? Yeah. I don't think I want to fight any bosses again just yet. We can save that for... That sounds like something we want to do a little later on. Is this kingdom just full of redoing boss fights? Honestly, I'm okay with that. That sounds pretty cool. Let's see what's in here first. Can I, is this a false wall? Did those fish come through this wall? It looked like they did. What do we have in here? Oh uh, yeah, look. That's absolutely what it is. It's a bunch of rematches. Okay. Probably want to just go to the castle then. I don't want to do all the rematch stuff right now. I'd rather go and see what Peach has to say first. And then we can get to fighting all the bosses again, if that is actually what's going on here. To the castle we go. Right, there's another door with probably another rematch in it. Give me those. Oh, no! Yep. I, uh, I walked right into that one, I will admit. There is no one to blame there but me. I didn't want to be let back out here, but whatever. Was hoping it would put me where I fell off or at a checkpoint or something. Just go. Those are really easy to spot purple coins. We can get them like, actually, just do that. Grab these purple coins right now. Can I possess the squirrel? No, you don't. Come here, come here squirrel. Squirrel! I'm mad. How am I supposed to get those? There we go. Easy. Get that squirrel. Can I possess the squirrel or no? The hat will not, like, lock onto it, so I don't think I can. Miss one. 
Thank you. All right, well then. Yeah, let's go talk to Peach and see what's happening. I did not play the old school Mario game that does the, uh, that had the thing where you go into all the paintings to do levels and whatnot. What is this about? This is Yoshi's favorite food. Oh, Yoshi, I saw him in the castle a while ago. Wonder where he is now. Oh, dude, we get to get Yoshi. Sick. Anyways, what's up with you? Awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. I am so sick of you toads. Not being able to protect this princess. She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? That sucks. Has anyone checked Bowser's place? Where is our Princess Peach? I've looked all over. Packed up and left. Have you seen her? She's not here or here or even there. Toadette, what's up? Hi, I'm Mario. Looks like you're on another big adventure. That's great. I hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world and keeping track of your achievements. That's really creepy. I've also got power moons to give you as rewards for those achievements. Oh, hey, you've already completed Rescue Princess Peach. Congrats. What do you... I wasn't able to get to this kingdom until I rescued her. What are you on about? What are the rest? You can also see the names of power moons you'll get for all your achievements. I'll add some hints to the power moon list, which you can see by opening the map and pressing Y. Cool. Achieve world peace? What does this mean? Get all the power moons in all the kingdoms? This is just collecting a bunch of power moons. Buy things using regional coins. That's not too hard. Collect 8-bit power moons. I've already done enough of that. Flat moon fanatic. I need more of them. Okay. Chests. Notes. All right. Well, this seems pretty basic. Herd sheep to collect a power moon. Collect power moons from Goombet. Oh, that's right. Someone told me that I can possess Lockatoo because I just never threw my hat at him because I'm stupid. And if I did that, then I would have been able to do the fishing thing because I'm dumb. All right. Well, I'm not even going to worry about all that right now. On the power moon, this is all about getting power moons. All I have to do is keep playing the game and getting power moons and I'll officially, or officially, I'll eventually get all of these. On the power moon list, you can check out the power moons you've already collected. You know, just in case you need it. Well, I'll be right here when you want to achieve some achievements. I've already done a few. Congratulations. You achieved something new. Oh, I achieved world peace. All right, well, you know, I'm pretty good at world peace and all that jazz. Well done, me. What about world hunger? Did I solve that, too? Power Moon Knights, very good. We're just going to go through this and get all the ones that we have available so that it's done and out of the way. I wonder if there's a secret, uh, a secret, <laughs> a secret world somewhere, and that's where Peach is gone right now. Or maybe she actually, it would actually be kind of cool if Peach was just in a random world and I had to go locate her. That'd be pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Captain Toad meter. <laughs> nice. Do these count towards the moons I'm doing? Oh yeah. Oh no, she added a ton of moons to this kingdom to do that. Throw Cappy 5,000 times. Jump 10,000 times. Collect coin. You've got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. Let's just keep going through it. Ground pound instructor. Very good. I'm going to talk to her like three more times and then we're going to go. And just like every now and then when we walk by the kingdom, we'll come talk to her to get some more. I can only sit here and do this for so long before I get fed up. Yeah, I think that this is enough right here, actually. <laughs> Give me these coins. Can I sit in the throne? Yes, I can. I am your king now. Someone bring me some grapes. Isn't that what, like, old rulers do in kingdoms and stuff? They just eat grapes? What's this about? It's some kind of hint art that I don't care to deal with. I never fully understood the hint art or what it meant. I don't plan to learn now. That just looked really ground poundable to me. I don't know why. All right, well, we've lost Peach once again. Unfort, but you know, it happens. Oh, yeah, you just say the same thing. I thought I might say something different. Uh, we could go do some rematches against the bosses. Where is Yoshi at? I want to get on Yoshi. Do, 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 do. The captain went to the shop. Oh, Toad is at the shop. Captain Toad, specifically. Nintendo realized they wanted they wanted to be able to like differentiate who a main Toad was, and so they made Captain Toad. Let's do this, and then we'll do the rocket ship. I'm just supposed to make it to that? 
Go, go, go. I don't know where I'm supposed to hurt those sheep to. Can't stop, won't stop. It's too far. How am I going to reach that in time? Is there a Goombet around here somewhere, I'm betting? Don't talk to me about that. Or just a platform that I need to put, uh... I'm mad. About getting hit at all in these scenarios. I need to lure these Goombas over here. Hey, 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 follow me. How do these Goombas know that I'm not part of them? Come, come here, come here. I missed. This is bad. Get on the... It's a lot harder than it looks, I promise. Got him. Now I need to get these two. I think you could just jump straight on the two of them, but just to be safe, do that. There's got to be a Goombat or something nearby, surely. But where? There's got to be. Why would all these Goombas be here if not to possess them all and jump on them? I don't see anything. Huh. Is there really nothing to use these Goombas for? I better see something pretty quick or I'm just going to murder them all. This is the Goomba Woods. You would think Goombat would be in Goomba Woods. Whatever. Goodbye. Sucks to be them, doesn't it? There's, like, no music in this kingdom, by the way, I've just realized. That's a little weird. Oh, hey, they're already respawning. Gonna throw you right on over here, then. Don't mind me, you stupid Goombas. See you later, suckers. This is probably just another boss fight. Uh... I want to go do the rocket ship, and then we'll start doing boss fights, I think. No, make it! Oh, he's so close! Hat jump. Save me. No! I have to climb back up. Are you kidding me? Leave me alone, you stupid Goombas. Can't you see I'm busy right now? Climbing things. Doing stuff. Etc. Etc. By the way, I guess we are in the postgame, basically. So, I don't really know how long or how far the playthrough is going to go from here. What's this about? You know what I miss? Your blocky poly or polygonal look? Glad to, let you glad to let you in anytime you're dressed like that. Right now, you don't have the look. Show me the good old days, and then I'll unlock the door. Must be some kind of an outfit where I can make myself look like 8-Bit Mario, I'm guessing? Although, that's going to... I don't know how that's going to work. But I guess we'll find out. There's got to be some kind of a trick... I bet I have to figure out where Yoshi is and get Yoshi and then try and do this challenge with the ability to run on Yoshi to get over to that thing fast enough. I also still don't know where to take the sheep. Let's go. Into the sky. What is this? I like the look of it. Picture match, picture match. Put your best face forward. If you can master picture match, I'll give you a power moon. Want to give it a try? Let's do it. All right, get on up there. Easy enough. Let me explain how Picture Match works. See this character's face right here? Take a good look because you're going to have to put it back together. That's easy. Capture the facial features with your hat, then rotate, move, and place them. Oh, and each time you place a facial feature, it'll disappear. You'll earn points based on how well you recreated the face. A passing score is 60 points, so try to do better than that. Easy enough. All right, let's Picture Match. Oh. This is not as simple as I thought. Uh, rotate. It was slightly angled, right? Like, about like that? Oh, it just vanishes. Okay. Are there the body parts of a Goomba here as well? It looks like there are. Which eye was facing inward? Does it go like that, or does it go the other way? I don't know. kind of wish the pieces stayed. I think I might have the eyes backwards. No, it looked too stupid the other way, I think. What if I just put the Goomba mouth on him? That'd be pretty sick. I pressed the wrong button. He's gonna go about here-ish. 
I thought that this was gonna be like a puzzle and be broken up into slots. I don't know how Mario- I didn't mean to do that! That was a mistake! I misclicked! Ah, uh, well, that basically screws me, I think. Mario's nose is so big. I don't know if I'm using the right eyebrows. I keep wanting to rotate with ZL and ZR. How do his eyebrows go? I don't even know. Like that? Yeah. I messed one up way over here by mistake. All done, unfortunately. What have I got? That looks pretty good. 74, hey. If I, I probably would have had like 90 if I had not accidentally jumped out of that eyebrow. If I'd put the eyebrow over there, it would have been pretty dead on. Got my moon, though. Basically Mario. Oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Wish that my monstrosity recreation wasn't the one left here. All right, normally mini games like this don't have a secondary power moon lying around, I'm pretty sure. So, I think we're just out of here. Back to the Mushroom Kingdom we go. I mean, that's still the Mushroom Kingdom, but back down to the normal Mushroom Kingdom we go.